You have found the data you want through the UK Data Service website. This video guide provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to access and download that data from the catalogue record page. After clicking on the dataset title you have chosen from the data catalogue, you will be taken to the catalogue record page. Here you will see various details of the dataset and series, including the citation, abstract and edition history. The details will also state what type of access the data owner has granted for this particular dataset. Some datasets are open and are available without registration, but may be subject to an open government licence or Creative Commons licence. Other datasets are safeguarded and users must register with the UK Data Service and accept our end user licence to access these. Some safeguarded datasets may require a user agreeing to special conditions or completing special licence forms. Other datasets are controlled and these are only accessible via the Secure Lab and are subject to additional conditions of access, such as the completion of special forms and attending a training course. You will also find Documentation and Resources tabs on the Catalogue Record page. You will know whether the dataset you want is open because the details table in the Catalogue Record will state these data are open in the Access row. You do not need to register to access open data. Open datasets, such as the school's responses to COVID-19 dataset, are open for anyone to access. Simply locate the dataset, open the data catalogue page and click on the Access Data button on the right-hand side of your screen. Here you will find a series of links to download the data in various formats. Some open datasets will be available to access online. If this is an option, the link will be visible from the same page. You will know whether a dataset is safeguarded because the catalogue record will state these data are safeguarded alongside access in the details table. Should you wish to download a safeguarded dataset, such as the National Survey of Sexual Attitudes and Lifestyles COVID-19 study, you will need to register with the UK Data Service and log in before you can download the data. Simply go to the Access button to log in. To register, click on Register. If you are in the UK and your organisation is part of the UK Access Management Federation, you can register with the service using the username and password issued to you by your organisation. Try typing in the name of your organisation in the search box and select the appropriate option. Hit continue and enter your organisation username and password. If you are not in the UK or your organisation does not appear on the list, you can request a username by submitting this online form. During registration you will need to agree to certain conditions for using these data, such as agreeing to cite and acknowledge the data correctly. Once registered, click on Login and follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Once you are registered and logged in, some datasets can be browsed online immediately if an Access Online button is visible on the Access Data page through Nestar or UKDS.stat for international macro data and Infuse for census data. Simply click on the Access Online button to browse these data. Basic analysis and visualisations can be performed without downloading the data or using statistical software. If a safeguarded dataset is available for download, the Access Data page will display an Add to your account button. Safeguarded data need to be added to your account before they can be downloaded. Click on Add to Account and then either add more datasets to your account or select Go to your account to download these data. The Go to your account link navigates to your data page within the My Account area. Datasets that appear on this page are either waiting to be assigned to a project or have actions outstanding. Safeguarded datasets must be assigned to a project before you can download them. Projects are an important part of accessing data. They help researchers to organise their work by a particular research question, enable us to track how the UK data service is being used, and they also allow data owners to monitor how frequently datasets are used. The steps to add a dataset to a project are as follows. Select the dataset under Waiting Assignment to Project and click Add to Project. You may wish to add this to an existing project or create a new one by creating a project title and providing some basic information. For an explanation of what a project is, or the information that you need to provide when creating a new project, please see the page guide on the top right hand side of your screen. Click Add to Project. Your dataset has now been assigned to this project and will be listed on this project page within the Datasets tab for future access. 
an explanation of all the information contained within the five tabs of the project page, projects, datasets, members, notes and log, can also be found in the page guide. If the system prevents you from adding a dataset to a project, it may be because you do not meet the access conditions for that dataset. Simply take a look at the access conditions for that dataset, which can be found on the data catalogue via the Access Data tab. You can download your assigned dataset from the Project page within the Datasets tab. The Status column flags outstanding actions required in order to gain access. Click on the Request Access button to view a list of actions that you need to complete. For safeguarded data that is subject to an end-user license, you can download your data immediately by selecting the dataset and clicking on Download Selected. Please note you can select multiple datasets for a single download. Some safeguarded data are available via special license. You will know if your data is subject to this because a title dataset, as illustrated here for the National Travel Survey, will clearly state special license in the title. Once assigned to a project, there will be some additional items on the list to complete when you click on the Request Access button. Select Complete Actions, then Complete Special License on the left-hand menu and download the form. Please email your completed form to help at ukdataservice.ac.uk via the link provided. You will then need to wait for depositor approval before you can download the data. Once depositor approval is received, the status column will display an active message and you can select the dataset via the tick box to download. Reshare. Some data in our collection are deposited by researchers directly. For these data, the Access Data page will state that you need to download from the Reshare repository. To access these data, you will also need to register with the service and may need to agree to some non-standard conditions, which will be detailed when you click on the data files within the ReShare repository. Data deemed too confidential or sensitive to be released via download are categorised as controlled data. These can only be accessed by more experienced social researchers via our Secure Lab within an institutional setting that meets a minimum set of security requirements. In order to access these data, researchers will need to have passed safe researcher training and demonstrate their trustworthiness around personal data. You will know if a dataset is controlled data because it will state secure access in the dataset title and it will detail this in the requirements to access these data on the access data page. You will need to assign these data to a project as you do with safeguarded data and select the request access button to view a list of actions requiring completion. A list of forms will be displayed here. Once you have downloaded and completed your required forms, email these to the Secure Applications team at the UK Data Service via the email address link provided. You can find further information detailing the steps required to access controlled data via the Secure Lab page on our website, which can be found via the Find Data menu under Access Conditions, Apply to Access Controlled Data in Secure Lab. When you return to the My Account area in the future, you can quickly access datasets that have already been assigned to a project through the Datasets by Project page. Here all datasets are grouped by project and you can access them by clicking on the datasets you wish to access. We welcome you using data in our collection for your research. However, we do ask that you cite the data correctly. We provide citations for every record and dataset version held in our data catalogue. Simply go to the catalogue record page and use the citation tool to copy and paste the correct citation into any reference list. This can be found on the details tab of any data catalogue page. Find out more about why citation is so important on our Cite the Data page at www.ukdataservice.ac.uk forward slash cite the data. To find more detailed explanations of content and terminology for each page within the data catalogue or the My Account areas, as well as step-by-step -step instructions for use, please click the Page Guide button on the top right-hand side of your screen at any time. Should you need assistance at any point, please contact our help desk via our online form which is accessible on our contact page, Get In Touch.